Let's get started with Kai Carlin. Hey, what's going on, Isaiah? How you doing, Kai? Uh, man, so you, you finished the season uh, with 17 points tonight, you know, but really, like, I feel like you just did a really good job on the defensive end. So where, where has kind of been your defensive improvements kind of come along as this season has continued? Yeah, so, I mean, my defense is uh, all about being, you know, in the right place at the right time and, you know, just proving to people that I can guard on the ball. So just that tenacity, and I feel like we have a great defensive team, and I'm not going to – my job is to come in and not be the weak link, and that's, you know, that's what I'm going to do every night. Then heading into the playoffs, like, um, have you kind of talked to the, uh, the veterans or anything like that to kind of get an idea of, like, what the postseason is like and um, how excited are you to kind of get, kind of get this experience and just kind of build off of it for next year? Yeah, I'm, I'm really excited. You know, they always talk about how the intensity rises a lot. Um, the competitiveness, it gets it gets crazy at that time. So I'm definitely looking forward to that, getting to see um, our team perform during these playoff games. I really believe that we can go really far, and our goal is to get a championship. So, you know, I expect nothing less. So it's going to be it's gonna be a hell of a ride. Thanks, Isaiah. Thank you. Mark Narducci. Yeah, Isaiah, this week you're going to have probably more practices than you've had all season. Um, how key is it for you guys, you know, on the second team and all to push the starters? How much are you looking forward to that for this week of practice? Oh man, I'm, I'm looking, I'm looking forward to that a lot because you know it's all about preparation. If we don't prepare correctly, then we'll end up falling short, and that's something that we really take pride in is preparation. So we're really going to get our, get practices in. A lot of them, we're going to work hard. We're going to focus on all the little details. So when it comes time to play, we'll all be ready to execute. Okay, thanks. Yes, sir. Thank you. Sean Bernard. Yeah, hey, Isaiah. Uh, what have you specifically taken from these low-minute games that Doc's talked so much about? And are there any veterans in particular that have really taken you under your wing this year? Yeah, so the low minute games, you know, it's all about improving, getting better each and every day, you know, being very competitive out there, showcasing your skill and what you can do and what you can bring to this team. Um, and as far as veterans, I think the one that's really, you know, stepped up and took me under his wing is Mike Scott. Yeah, he's one of the he's one of the great veterans that we have here. All of our bets are great, but I think he's really taking pride in, you know, taking taking us under his wing and, you know, pushing us and make sure we stay on the right path. Jalen Smoot. Hey, Isaiah, great game. Uh, I, say, I see you kind of grinning a little bit as you talk about the Sixers title. Um, how do you plan to keep your emotions in check uh, as you enter your first NBA postseason? Uh, you know, just staying humble, staying level-headed. I think going into that game, a lot of, it's going to be a lot of emotions. Everybody's adrenaline is going to be high. So we really got to make sure we stay settled and, you know, be prepared to play our game and not get out of ourselves. But it's, it's going to be exciting. It's supposed to be exciting. And we're going to go there, you know, to play hard and have fun. Appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you, Jen. Thanks, Isaiah. All right, thank you.